Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning March 14th, 2022. Before we begin here, I want to remind you that I am doing a live online event on March 21st. It's going to be 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific and it's on the Bright platform. So if you haven't checked that out, make sure you check all that out because it's a great platform and I get to interact with you live. There's gonna be a live Q&A. We're gonna be talking about mass awakening, 12 chakra system, how to communicate with angels. So make sure you use the link below to secure your ticket. And I can't wait to see you. That's the best part. I get to see you, you get to interact with me. So let's hang out, all right? So let's get into it here. Let me start with this deck. <sighs> yeah. I'm feeling, because I'm hearing leveling out. Now everybody's gonna take that in a different way, of course. But I think the leveling out is in us, okay? So making sure, you know, even if you start to go, oh, I don't believe the narrative that's the mainstream narrative. I don't believe that. You're still making everything very intellectual. You're trying to use your brain to figure everything out, right? So this is asking us to be more in our hearts. Yeah, and I'm hearing, you know, use the power of your frequency. Use the power of your frequency. So using the power of your frequency to change how things go, <laughs> two of Michael, because you might have an internal struggle about where to head. Okay, that flung right out. Ten of Ariel. So we'll, we'll talk about this. It is really, it's like eight degrees as I'm recording this outside, but I'm really hot. <laughs> I think I have my heat pumped up too high. Let's try to make it so that the pipes didn't freeze. And now I'm cooking. Of course, I'm under these lights too, so that's probably doing it. Six of Ariel, so a lot about material abundance here. And three of Gabriel. Let's start with these cards and then we will go on to some other decks here. So, first we have the two of Michael. It says, it will all be better if you just make a decision. Overanalyzing a problem, find a compromise. Again, this feels like a very um, internal struggle. This feels like... <sighs> You know, maybe maybe you know what your path is and you're on your path, you've been doing it, but maybe you aren't seeing the financial success out of it, right? Uh, we hear projects being a labor of love, that sort of thing, or there's this mentality of, are you willing to accept less pay to have your dream job <laughs> kind of thing? So, or to do what you wanna do. So there might be some struggle here about, should I continue on in the way that I have, even though I know that this is part of my path, and I know that I'm supposed to be doing this, but you know, all around the world, we have rising uh, costs. So, you know, I mean, this is a real concern here, but stop the internal struggle. As it says, don't be over analyzing it because there is potential here for you to, yeah, I'm hearing having material abundance. So again, I think that's what a lot of, whatever I pick up here, whatever people need to hear, who are tuning in, that's the kind of message that's going to come up. So there's this feeling here of prosperity and abundance coming from living more simply. Okay, so a lot of us think that we have to have that big house, we have to have the fancy car. You've heard this before, right? <laughs> Maybe you even feel that way. But really, prosperity and abundance, you're not so far away from your goal if you just realize that there are other things that can make you happy. Does that make sense? So it says, there is so very much to be grateful for, financial success and the promise of retirement, a rich and rewarding family life. So again, this is about being grounded. Maybe, you know, not spinning your wheels anymore in perfectionism or thinking expectation. Yeah, they're saying this is what gets us stuck, the expectation that my career is supposed to look like this. The world is supposed to look like that. My home is supposed to be this, that, and the other. If you notice here, I don't know if you can see how much of that you can see in the car, but these ladies are just sitting and having coffee, okay? Now, it is in Paris, <laughs> that's, that's a big deal. But uh, for the most part, they're just sitting and chatting and the kids are just playing in the background. And it's a very simple, you know, a simple moment. And I think that's really showing that our, pros our prosperity and our abundance comes from enjoying the simpler things, okay? And not expecting yeah, because they're saying a lot of people think that they're, a lot of people are in this lack mentality or in this poverty mentality of I'm not good enough, I can't have this um, because we get brainwashed to think that the people who have the most, they're the best, right? <laughs> and they're, they're really trying to show us that that's not the case here. 
That's just not the case. So six of Ariel, material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways. Acts of kindness, giving or receiving with a grateful heart. I'm telling you, a lot of people are fearful of, uh, about their homes. Um, we have very obvious things going on in the world. God bless you all. God bless you all. But uh, this will be an evening out. Things will start to... Things are going to escalate before they calm down, obviously. But for us, if we start to not be in... They're saying frantic. If we're not in a frantic energy of, I got to have this, it's got to look like that, and da, 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 da. And it's just to go down the road of being grateful for what you have. The energy within you starts to even out. Then the energy in the collective starts to even out. Okay. And so now things start to settle down. So you will be all right. Something could come about. It could be an opportunity. It could be just realizing that you're happy where you Maybe where you are and you just need to take a different approach to that. Because we did have this too of Michael where it's like this internal struggle of I should be doing something else. Or maybe even I should be living somewhere else, but you make the most of what you have. Does that make sense? Again, there could be some shifts and changes, but the shift and change that you choose is going to be way different than what you thought, I think. <laughs> That's what I'm feeling right now. Three of Gabriel, prosperity arising from wise planning. Time to take the next step. Optimistic plans that turn out as expected. So if you want something better in your life, you can't just sit back and wait for it to fall into your lap. And manifesting is all well and good, but then a lot of us fail in our manifestations because the universe gives us some signal about how to move forward and we don't take it, right? <laughs> Maybe because it doesn't match what we thought we were supposed to want or What you thought would make you happy would not make you happy. If you struggle and push to get there, you'll turn around and discover, oh, this wasn't everything that I thought it was going to be. So it is a little bit of changing your plans, getting, a, shall I say, a little more realistic? I don't want to say that because then like that limits your manifestation. But I just get this really strong feeling that a lot of you are already abundant and you just don't see it. Uh, you're pushing, you're wasting energy. Yeah, they're saying ener wasting energy, pushing on something that you think you want that you wouldn't want once you got it. And that can apply to love partners. If you've been really over idealizing someone and you're overlooking the red flags, okay? Is that person manipulative? Is that person just telling you what you want to hear to get you? You see what I'm saying? So... It does have a very positive feeling, though, once you make a decision. Once you make a decision to manifest stability and happiness and then allowing it to show up in the way that is right for you. All right. So we have protection. So we have, yeah, I just heard, oh, God, okay, I heard forces on the ground. Now, that doesn't mean literally. Uh, that just means that I think there are a lot of... Um, spiritual help there's lots of spiritual help coming in spiritual beings light beings angels coming in to protect us and protecting us through truth there's a sword there over on this side or no excuse me <laughs> on this side here uh there's a sword right there and when that truth is revealed there is a balancing also there are two swans in this depiction here um and that makes me feel like coupling so again if you have been in a bad relationship, there's some bit of protection coming to you, but make sure that you are listening in order to take action in a safe way, okay? All right, so shadow self. There's a whole lot of us having to face this. Where did we get greedy? Where did we have our expectations? Where did we want something because we thought it was gonna set us above everybody else? We see in our world where there are so many people who have been taught that they're not good enough. They're not, you know, just not lovable unless they do X, Y, and Z. Parents are not going to approve of their children unless they have this kind of career, that sort of thing. And then we see a whole world of people trying to overcompensate for that, whether it is playing games in relationships or wanting the attention. We see this with social media. We see this with social media. Whoever has, you know, the most followers or whatever, they're supposed to be better, but if you really look at some of the people out there, I mean, they're just constantly doing whatever they can to get people's attention so that they feel fulfilled. And 
I think the message here is you're already lovable. You don't need to go that route. So we have another abundance card, guys. Here are all these. <laughs> Look at this. I mean, there's a lot of abundance coming in. We don't need to be as worried as we were before. We're going to find a different way. We're going to find a workaround. Um, but it's going to take us looking at our shadow selves and being honest. One of the things that we see all the time, you hear me talk about this all the time, in the spiritual community, we have people who treat it like it's a formula. They take the third dimensional ego consciousness approach to spirituality. And they're like, well, I followed all the steps. Therefore, I'm more spiritual. Therefore, I'm above everybody else. I'm more awakened. All of this sort of thing. And that's not the point. The point is to find your way into a more loving, cooperative space, not com being competitive and trying to diminish people so that you can be ahead. Here we go. Brilliance, discover your sparkle. The number is 26. This is not an ego pursuit. The whole point of this is to realize what really does make us special. Not just you as an individual, but all of us, what makes us special. And that would be our connection, our ability to love and to let the love come out and, you know, light the way, really light the way. That's what this is about. Not about uh, surface level. Am I the prettiest? Am I the richest? Am I the most powerful? Am I the most influential? There you go. There's another one. If we have something that we can show up and offer one another and it's going to help bring peace and love and happiness, show up. Show up and do that. But you don't have to show up and be the most popular. You don't have to show up and be, you know, whatever, whatever. <laughs> whatever your point of competition is, we don't need to do that. And we're learning to let that go. Okay. Now, I kind of buzzed through those quickly. Should we pull some more cards? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, angelsouls444.com for personal readings. And we can do an Akashic Records reading or an angelic reading. Just head on over to the website and sign up. I'm, uh, as of the recording of this, <laughs> I'm still, I always laugh because I'm like, I always say like I'm running ahead of schedule uh, and then there could be like 30 people that come in. So, you know, it, it really is first come first serve. So right now I'm still running ahead of the, normal wait time. So let's get a couple more cards around this. Yeah, it really is about finding our peace. To me, happiness is the feeling of springtime. You know, love feels like springtime to me, this renewal, this upliftment, everything is coming alive. Um, everything's in bloom and beautiful and all of that. For you, it might be something different, but what makes you feel like you're in renewal? Okay. So for me, I, before I sat down and started doing this, I put on some meditation music. I really, you know, I did everything very carefully. I, I took great pleasure in getting set up and really enjoying the process. So I could sit down and talk to everybody. And I'm laughing at this card. <laughs> Sorry. And, you know, that made me feel very uplifted and very excited to carry on with my day. We're being asked to look at that. You know, us as individuals, what makes us feel uplifted? And when we hear about the things that are going on in the world, if we have our batteries charged, then we can offer that energy and that love and that protection to people who are in need of it, all right, and to the entire planet. So we have decision. Archangel Jophiel, release yourself from that which holds you back. A need to detox, okay? Unnecessary worry based on a lack of self-confidence. Look at this. <laughs> we are stuck in a mindset. And that is the very thing that is holding us up. So if you think, oh, I'm not good enough, I'm not good enough, I'm not good enough, well, it's going to play out in your reality that nobody sees you as good enough. Not that that needs to be a thing, as we were saying, but, you know, this is definitely saying make the decision to be happy and you will see the path open to happiness. It is not going to look the way you thought, okay? Things are going to be coming to you, but you might overlook some opportunities because you think they're not good enough or you know, like that's not going to lead me anywhere. That's going to be a waste of time or I don't want to live there because that's not going to be good enough for me. If it brings you happiness, ultimately, you might be happier with what is presented to you than you realize. But there is this whole thing of make the decision. When we make the decision to let go, to forgive, I know that's hard and people hate hearing that, but it's about releasing you. It's not about releasing or saying it's okay that this person did that or the other, right? So um, there's also a message here of go deeper with things, with your hurt, your pain. Again, make sure you get proper support in that. This is not a replacement for therapy. 
you have to take care of the mental body as well. Yeah, there's a decision that's being made to let go. And when we say let go, it doesn't mean, oh, I'm going to pretend like that didn't happen. You're processing it, you're facing it, and then you're moving on. Okay, and then the forgiveness, we need to get our energy in check here. <laughs> that's really what's going on here. We can't be so selfish. We can't be, you know, yeah, trying to bully one another. That's what they're actually saying. Like, we have this energy that kind of bullies people. And... We see it play out all the time. Someone's trying to be first. Someone's being reckless, you know, whatever, okay? Um, being conniving and hurting someone because it, may, it gives them a charge. And, you know, it, that happens. People are always causing drama just because they're bored or just because they're jealous or just because they're hurting and they, you know, they're just aggravating. They may not even understand why they're acting the way that they are. So we have to be better to one another. I mean, we're not going to get any further until we understand that. All right. So we're going to leave it there. I hope to see you over on Bright on March 21st. Make sure you use the link below to get your tickets. We have limited seats, so don't wait, okay? <laughs> get in there and reserve that spot. I can't wait to hang out with you guys. And as always, I am sending you so much love and take care.